Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Alright, so we are going to do another fix on an issue that um, I, I wouldn't say fairly common, but it's very hard to diagnose this issue. And this issue essentially occurs in... Um, a lot of these vehicles um, from uh, 2014, 2015 and up. So apparently, apparently um, over time, uh, things change on vehicles. They get more complicated. Obviously, they get more complicated. There's a lot more electrical components in, 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 in these cars. And um, this 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 deals with um, something that a lot of people just have issues diagnosing because there's no check engine light. There's no codes that come up to tell you exactly what the issue is. Um, a lot of people think it's limp mode. It's an issue with the limp mode. It's an issue with the ECM. It's an issue with the CVT. It's an issue with a whole host of stuff. Throttle body, throttle position sensor, etc., etc. And it's just one of those things that's difficult to figure out. Okay. So basically, if you guys have this issue, you guys have intermittent, this intermittent issue with uh, acceleration, acceleration. All right, and it, it kind of does have something to do with limp mode, but um, I'm gonna have to give you guys, you know, a whole entire background on this um, because it's not as easy to explain as 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 you probably want in a video where you want to get it fixed, and 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 this situation could just run you guys just a whole ton of time, a whole ton of money. A whole time of going, taking your vehicle to different places, garages, shops, even a dealership. They even a lot of times even they have issues trying to figure out what the what the problem is, and it, it becomes costly. That right? So uh, you could be driving, and um, out of nowhere you get this issue where you have your foot all the way on the floor. You're flooring it right you're you're pushing on an accelerator and it doesn't seem like it's it's going very fast like uh, this issue um once you start having this issue probably the fastest you go is like 25 miles per hour and at some point you're gonna put your 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 accelerator all the way to the floor and you're still going 25 miles per hour all right at that point you're probably um thinking to yourself you know um the uh limp mode got tripped up and you guys don't know what limp mode is limp mode is your computer putting your car into a uh, a mode where it, it lessens any kind of damage that could happen to your car because of some components that that may be um having issues and stuff like that and it puts your car into like a safe mode and you can only go so fast etc etc and um and it doesn't happen all the time. It happens every once in a while. Um, you know, sometimes it'll happen. And then, you know, af after maybe a couple of steps on, on the accelerator of the brakes or whatever, it's it starts working fine again. And then, and then it happens again. And it starts working fine again. It happens again. And then maybe two weeks later, it starts happening again. Like, it's intermittent. You can't actually um, figure it out. There's no check engine light for it. Funny enough, I don't know why there's not a check engine light for it because they have a check engine light for everything. Essentially, everything that's electronic that that's monitored by the ECM, there's no check engine light for it. All right, you might, you guys might have to get a a a, a code reader, an expensive code reader that could actually record live data and and um and, and segment. Uh, particular parts of the vehicle that you want live data for to actually get a feel of what's causing this issue so a lot of people when they encounter this issue here's a here's the list of things that they actually go and um either try to fix or try to change up and a lot of people actually go through 
this whole um, changing up of parts where you know they can't exactly figure out what the problem is the car is not particularly old because it happens to these vehicles um, 2015 2016 and up um, so basically they'll think it's the throttle throttle body maybe the throttle body is dirty and a lot of these situations the throttle body is not opening up when you press your foot on accelerator so they you know it it's it, they think it's the throttle body there's they think it's the throttle position sensor they think it's the mass airflow sensor they think it's a fuel issue they think it's um uh, the uh, pedal uh, pedal position sensor now i actually did a video on the pedal position sensor causing this issue um and uh, i'll tell you that the pedal position sensor does sometimes if it goes bad you actually have this issue all right and it does actually cause this issue but in this case in this case it's not the uh, pedal position sensor that's either going bad or needs to be replaced some people replace that and they still have issues with it all right so being that this issue is very 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 difficult to diagnose you might want to get uh, you know I mean, if you if you actually have a background in car repairs, you might be able to take guesses as to what the problem is. So I'm going to tell you guys what the problem is and what the fix for it and what you guys should look for in this situation. All right. So if you guys start having this situation and I'm going to explain to you thoroughly, you guys start having this situation. Um, it, it has to do with the 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 um the brake light switch okay the brake switch um previous to 2015 i believe these vehicles had like one brake light switch uh after 2015 there's two brake light switch i could be wrong on that i'm not 100 sure now these brake light switch um when you press on the brakes um one of the brake light like like switch says that you know they they kind of work in opposite of each other you know if if one's green the other one's red if one's red the other one's green um and that's not really important to understand you know to, to to getting the fix on this but 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 if you guys have this problem and i'm actually telling you what the actual issue is with these uh symptoms of this problem is probably either one of the brake light switches going bad or both the brake light switches going bad all right so if you guys have this issue and you know before actually thinking it's the accelerator it's the cvt maybe you guys should save yourself some time and have somebody look at the brake uh the, the brake light because in this situation the brake light is probably on when you don't have your foot on the brake and it, that's not supposed to happen the brake light supposed to be on when you put your foot on the brakes all right so a lot of these situations that occur if you come into this situation where you have this issue where you it, it won't accelerate when with with your foot all the way down on the floor have if you have somebody with you definitely have them uh look at the brake light all right uh see if the brake light switches on because there's a good chance if in this situation you could be accelerating and, and accelerating i mean at most probably going like 25 miles per hour with your brake light on all right so basically what happens is the uh in this situation the computer is miss is reading that the brake is on but your accelerator is also um, it, it, it's also um, you also have your foot on the accelerator but the brake light is on so basically the computer is reading two conflicting sets of information the ECM the, the cars computer ECU ECM is reading two conflicting sets of information so what it does is it puts your car into limp mode all right once it puts your car into limp mode the most you can drive is about um, 25 miles um, per hour all right, it's not gonna let you accelerate because it's reading the because it's reading that the brake um, is you, you're both you're both pressing the brake and the accelerator at the same time, and then you have this situation. All right, so for something that's if if, so if, if you don't know what to look for in these kind of situations, 
um, it could be very, 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 very confusing. And that's probably why you're watching these videos, just to get a sense of other people's experiences or other people's take on this situation, just to get um, a feel of what it could be. So um, definitely, if you guys are in this situation, um, first thing you're going to do is, because there's not going to be a check engine light for you guys to, to, to do an OBD2 scanner, going going through the whole scenario of trying to figure out whether it's a throttle position sensor the 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 the, the, the throttle body the um the mass airflow sensor i'll tell you this okay it's kind of easy to um it, it, if you know what you you're, you're you're looking for it's it, it's very easy to um eliminate those things because all those things have a sensor that's that's has a code to them so you're not going to have a code so essentially, you're going to eliminate the throttle position sensor, the throttle body. You're going to eliminate the mass airflow sensor. You're going to eliminate all those things. All right. There's no there's there's no check engine light for 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 this particular situation. So, um, in 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 because of that, um, you know what you want to do is you want to go to the easiest possible um, diagnosis of this, and the simplest easiest diagnosis is two things it's either the um pedal position sensor or the the two brake switches all right now now uh that and 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 to eliminate the um the 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 accelerator pedal sensor have somebody go out look at the look at the brake light if the brake light is on you can eliminate the 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 accelerator pedal sensor and it's just a brake switch brake light switch that's causing this problem now as far as trying to figure out which brake light switch is the problem so it could be one of the brake light switch going out malfunctioning both brake light switch switches malfunctioning or maybe um the brake light switch is um is seized in some way or getting um or stuck in some way or, or you know one of those couple of situations they're not a, they're not very expensive to buy well they might be expensive they might be relatively expensive to buy uh off of uh one of these parts stores AutoZone, or advanced auto or whatever because they know you need it immediately to get your car working exactly right but if you go on ebay they're like 20 30 bucks at most and um if you guys in that situation, you guys could just pretty much just swap it out, to be honest with you. Swap, they're not very easy. They're not very hard to get to. They're not very hard to swap out. They're not very difficult to um, to, to, to change up at all. So, um, so hope this has helped you guys out. If you guys have any of your own personal experiences with this, definitely leave a comment in a comment section. It might help somebody else out if you guys know of any other reasons that could cause this issue. Probably not. I don't think there's any other, I don't think there's anything else that could cause this issue um, besides that. An analysis of it you know if if you kind of have like a little roadmap as far as you know uh you know watching enough people going through a symptoms and diagnosis with these videos and everything else along with your you know whatever expertise you might have in in, in automobile issues car issues and stuff like that you might be able to, to just fix the problem really really fast and really really easy anyway um hope this has helped you guys out uh please leave a comment in the comment section please um give me a like Please, uh, you know, push that like button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, hopefully this helps you fix um, your car. All right.